What are metallic or deposits? Metallic or deposits are naturally occurring concentrations of minerals or rocks that contain economically valuable metals. These deposits form through various geological processes over millions of years and are crucial sources of metals essential for human activities and industrial processes. The formation of metallic or deposits involves a combination of geological and geochemical processes. One common process is known as hydrothermal mineralization, where hot fluids carrying dissolved metals migrate through fractures in the Earth's crust and deposit minerals as they cool and react with surrounding rocks. This process can lead to the formation of deposits such as gold, silver, copper, and lead. Another important process is magmatic segregation, which occurs when molten magma cools and crystallizes underground, leading to the concentration of specific minerals or metals in certain areas. For example, nickel and platinum group metals can be concentrated in magmatic intrusions known as sulfide deposits. Additionally, Sedimentary processes can also contribute to the formation of metallic or deposits. Sedimentary rocks may contain layers or beds of minerals that were deposited in ancient oceans or lakes, such as iron or deposits found in banded iron formations. The concentration of metals in these deposits can vary widely, ranging from high-grade ore bodies with high metal content to low-grade deposits that require extensive processing to extract the valuable metals economically. Mining operations typically involve the extraction of ore from the ground, followed by processing to separate the desired metals from the surrounding rock and minerals. Metallic ore deposits are vital for meeting the global demand for metals, which are used in a wide range of industries, including construction, manufacturing, electronics, and transportation. As such, the discovery and exploitation of new ore deposits, along with the sustainable management of existing ones, play a crucial role in supporting modern society and economic development. However, the extraction and processing of metallic ores can also have significant environmental impacts, including habitat destruction, water and air pollution, and the release of greenhouse gases. Sustainable mining practices, environmental regulations, and technological advancements are increasingly important in minimizing these impacts and ensuring the responsible extraction and utilization of metallic or deposits for future generations. Formation of Metallic or Deposits The formation of metallic or deposits is a complex process that involves a combination of geological, geochemical, and tectonic factors acting over millions to billions of years. These deposits typically originate from the concentration of metals within the Earth's crust through various natural processes. Below is a more detailed exploration of some of the key mechanisms involved in the formation of metallic ore deposits. Magmatic Processes Magmatic segregation, this process occurs when molten magma intrudes into the Earth's crust and undergoes cooling and crystallization. As the magma cools, certain minerals and metals crystallize out at different temperatures, leading to the formation of concentrated ore bodies. For example, sulfide minerals containing metals like nickel, copper, and platinum group elements can precipitate out of cooling magma chambers to form sulfide deposits. Pegmatite formation Pegmatites are coarse-grained igneous rocks that form from the crystallization of exceptionally large and enriched magmas. They often contain economically valuable minerals such as lithium, tantalum, and rare earth elements due to the unique conditions under which they crystallize. Hydrothermal Processes Hydrothermal mineralization, hot, mineral-rich fluids circulate through fractures and faults in the earth's crust, dissolving and transporting metals from deeper sources. As these fluids cool and interact with surrounding rocks, they precipitate minerals, leading to the formation of hydrothermal ore deposits. Examples include epithermal gold deposits and massive sulfide deposits. Porphyry copper deposits, these large, low-grade ore bodies form in association with intrusions of granitic magma. Hydrothermal fluids released during the cooling of the magma deposit copper and other metals in surrounding rocks, often forming extensive mineralized zones. Sedimentary processes. Sedimentary exhalative deposits, 
sedimentary exhalative deposits form on the seafloor through the deposition of minerals from hydrothermal fluids venting into seawater. These deposits often contain lead, zinc, and silver, and are associated with specific sedimentary environments such as deep water basins and continental margins. Banded Iron Formations Banded Iron Formations are chemical sedimentary rocks consisting of alternating layers of iron rich minerals and silica. They formed in ancient oceans through the precipitation of iron oxides by oxygen producing cyanobacteria, resulting in vast iron ore deposits. Metamorphic Processes Metamorphic deposits, some metallic or deposits form through the metamorphism of pre existing rocks under high temperature and pressure conditions. This can lead to the recrystallization and concentration of certain minerals, such as the formation of metamorphosed iron ore deposits known as iron formation hosted iron deposits. These processes often occur in specific geological settings, such as convergent plate boundaries, rift zones, or areas of volcanic activity where tectonic and thermal conditions are conducive to the concentration of metals. Understanding the geological history and context of a region is crucial for identifying and exploring potential metallic ore deposits, which are vital resources for sustaining modern societies and economies. Formation Processes of Metallic Ore Deposits the formation processes of metallic ore deposits are diverse and intricate, involving a multitude of geological, geochemical, and tectonic factors acting over vast periods of time. These processes give rise to a wide array of ore deposit types, each with its own distinct characteristics and formation mechanisms. Below, we delve into greater detail about the various processes involved in the formation of metallic ore deposits. Magmatic processes. Magmatic differentiation. During the cooling and crystallization of molten magma within the Earth's crust, certain minerals and metals can become concentrated through a process known as magmatic differentiation. This occurs as minerals crystallize at different temperatures, leading to the segregation of metal rich phases within the cooling magma. Over time, these concentrated phases can form economically viable ore bodies. Examples include sulfide deposits like nickel copper sulfides and platinum group element deposits associated with mafic and ultramafic intrusions. Hydrothermal fluids, magmatic intrusions can also release hot, metal rich fluids into surrounding rocks during their emplacement and cooling. These hydrothermal fluids can transport metals from the intrusions and deposit them in fractures and porous spaces within the host rocks, forming vein and disseminated deposits. Notable examples include porphyry copper deposits associated with large igneous intrusions and epithermal gold deposits formed from near-surface hydrothermal systems. Hydrothermal processes. Fluid migration. Hydrothermal ore deposits are commonly formed through the circulation of hot, mineral-laden fluids within the Earth's crust. These fluids are often derived from magmatic sources or are heated groundwater solutions. As the fluids migrate through fractures and permeable rocks, they interact with the surrounding minerals, leaching out metals and depositing them in favorable environments. This process can result in the formation of various ore deposit types, including vein, replacement, and stratiform deposits. Deposition mechanisms, or deposition in hydrothermal systems can occur through a variety of mechanisms, including cooling, pressure release, boiling, and chemical reactions with host rocks. These processes can lead to the precipitation of metallic minerals in fractures, cavities, and pore spaces, forming economically significant ore bodies. Hydrothermal deposits encompass a broad spectrum of mineralization styles, ranging from high-temperature, sulfide-rich systems to lower-temperature, oxide-rich systems. Sedimentary processes. Chemical precipitation. Some metallic ore deposits form through the chemical precipitation of minerals from seawater or hydrothermal fluids within sedimentary environments. Banded iron formations, BIFs, for example, represent vast deposits of iron-rich minerals that accumulated on ancient seafloors billions of years ago. These deposits form through the interaction of iron-rich fluids with oxygen produced by photosynthetic organisms, resulting in the precipitation of iron oxides. Hydrothermal plumes, 
sedimentary exhalative deposits form at the seafloor through the discharge of metal-rich hydrothermal fluids into seawater. These fluids mix with seawater, precipitating minerals such as lead, zinc, and copper in the vicinity of hydrothermal vents. Over time, the accumulation of these precipitates can give rise to stratiform or bodies within sedimentary basins. Metamorphic processes Metamorphic alteration, metallic or deposits can also form through the metamorphism of pre-existing rocks under elevated temperature and pressure conditions. During metamorphism, mineral assemblages can undergo changes, leading to the concentration and redistribution of metals within the rock. Metamorphic processes can contribute to the formation of certain types of iron, copper, and gold deposits, particularly in regions undergoing regional metamorphism or contact metamorphism associated with intrusive igneous activity. These formation processes interact with a multitude of geological and tectonic factors, including plate tectonics, volcanic activity, and crustal deformation, to produce the diverse array of metallic or deposits observed around the world. Understanding the complex interplay of these processes is crucial for identifying and exploring potential ore deposits and for developing effective strategies for their sustainable extraction and utilization.